College football gambling picks for week number nine. Take two, because our audio did not record the first time. I was all sourpuss for take one, ready to be (laughs) angry because I've been doing so bad. And now I'm just laughing because this stuff doesn't work all the time. Now we're all good. It is what, oh, it, technical difficulties happen. It is what it is. Uh, but we are here. We are back again. We're re-recording. We're doing it up. It's brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. You can find more information over at tunicatravel.com on all six of their amazing sports books. you got Hollywood Casino, uh, Gold Strike, Samstown, Fitz Casino, uh, Horseshoe, and First, First Jackpot. Jackpot. I, I completely flipped to Hollywood right. and Horseshoe. That's all right. Either way, tunicatravel.com, they never mess it up. They got everything you need over there. Winningcureseverything.com, you can find all of our picks, all of our podcasts, all of our YouTube stuff. Go over there, find everything you need. Uh, you can also find our football picks contest over there. Last week, Jerry B. from Lubbock, Texas, went 9-1. and one. He won the tiebreaker. He got two free nights at Hollywood Casino and two free buffets over at Fitz Casino. You could be a winner this week. Go pick 10 games against the spread. See if you can beat us. Do what you do. If you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button for us. If you're listening on the podcast, also hit that subscribe button for us. Last week, I went 4-3. and three. Chris, you went 2-5. and five. Went bad again. Went bad again. So you're, what, 5-16? Uh, 16. 16. In the, in the last, last three, three weeks. weeks. Right, you, look, we're going to get you out of this. Pretty right? pretty shabby. Overall, I'm 29-26-1. Chris is 24-31-1. We got two games that are alike, Ooh. so that's probably bad for you. Probably, probably. Uh, <laughs> but you know what? I'm gonna keep rolling with it. So let's let's run on through this. It, by the way, if you listen on the podcast, <clears throat> it's gonna sound different because we got the first one recorded on the podcast, but not on the video. <laughs> so I don't know what the hell happened. But well, I'm gonna fly. Way, I'm not we, gonna give a whole lot of notice. Let's just roll. That'll work. Game number one for me: Clemson minus 14 at Florida State. It's Saturday, 11 a.m. ABC in Tallahassee. My numbers have got Florida, I'm sorry, have got Clemson by 18.4. Florida State covered three of the last four, but so did Clemson. After bye week, Clemson has won at Wake and against NC State by a score of 104 to 10. Florida State's offensive line is complete garbage. Uh, They're only averaging 2.92 yards per carry this year. They're number 91 in the country in sacks given up. Clemson is number three in the country in tackles for loss. They've got 21 sacks on the year. Clemson is going to feast this weekend. Take Clemson minus 14. I like this line up to like 17, 18 points. I, I think they are going to dominate in Tallahassee. My first pick, Wake Forest, bad football team. Falling apart, can't figure it out. But they're alive and they're fighting. Louisville, a dead football team. Take Wake Forest plus two and a half at Louisville. That's no more explanation needed on that, Darn. right? So take take the less dead. I'm going fast. North Carolina at Virginia. Virginia minus nine. Uh, Saturday, eleven twenty a.m. ACC Network. That's another streaming game in Charlottesville, Virginia. My numbers have got Virginia by fifteen. The Hoos are looking awesome right now. They're six and one against the spread this year. North Carolina is three and three against the spread. They are three and one against the spread against the ACC this season. But Virginia is not one of these teams that is just like looking ahead or whatever. They are – look, Bronco Mendenhall has this team ready to play. They don't take this stuff for granted. They are going to roll over the Tar Heels this weekend, take Virginia minus nine. I got A&M plus two and a half at Mississippi State. I think Mississippi State is one-dimensional offense. I think A&M can stop the run. I think A&M's receivers are really good. Mississippi State's got a good defense. They got a good defensive front. If A&M can get the ball off, which I think they will, they will put up points on this state defense. I also have Texas A&M plus two and a half at Mississippi State. That's a 6 p.m. game Saturday night ESPN in Stark Vegas. My numbers have got this right on the number, but analytics have loved Mississippi State all year. Don't trust them. A&M, they are number four in the country against the run. It's the best run defense the Mississippi State has played. The only teams that have run for over 100 yards on them, Alabama went for 109, Clemson went for 115, Louisiana Monroe went for 125. I think A&M is going to slow down Mississippi State. I think they're going to win this game outright. This is a different team under Jimbo Fisher and Mike Elko. Let's roll with the A&M plus two and a half and sprinkle a little bit of money line action on that. Yeah, all, all, all the dogs on that. Bet. Absolutely. South Florida plus, plus. South Florida is rarely a plus. Plus seven and a half. Gary, if you listen to the podcast, hates Charlie Strong. I think, That's not true. I think he's a really good coach. <laughs> 
I don't trust Major Applewhite. I know Kendall Browse is running the offense and he's doing good. Listen, Louisville, Houston's a good team. Houston's a really good team. They're putting up a lot of points, but they're also giving up a lot of points too. Okay. South Florida is going to put up a lot of points as well. I think South Florida has a chance to win this game. I'm not laying a touchdown and a half against Major Applewhite. I'm just, I just can't do it. I think Charlie Strong will have his team ready to play. I know it's on the road. It's at Houston. That's it. Game number four for me, I got Iowa plus five and a half at Penn State. Saturday, 2.30 p.m., ESPN. It's in Happy Valley. My numbers have got Penn State by three, so I've got about a two and a half to three point difference here. Uh, Penn State plays to the level of their competition. They are one and three against the spread. Their last four as a home favorite against the Big Ten. They're 0 oh and three. Their last three uh, as a favorite this year. Iowa is three and zero oh against the spread on the road this year so far. Iowa six and one against the spread. Penn State is four and three against the spread this season. It's the best defense Penn State has played so far. The best defense before was Michigan State. They lost that 21 to 17. Iowa is number five in scoring defense. They are going to hold on to the football. They are going to keep the possessions down. Penn State's going to have a whole lot of trouble here. I think Iowa can win the game. Give me, give me Kirk Ferentz and the Hawkeyes plus five and a half at Penn State. Boston College plus three at home against Miami. I really, really like these home teams on these weeknight games. This is a Friday night game in Boston. It's going to be cold. It's going to be, you know, during the World little, Series. Probably a little bad weather. A lot of people around Boston hyped up, excited, ready to go. World Series will be going on. Give me the home team. I love these home teams, especially home dogs, on these weeknight games. I'm going to take all three points. I think they got a chance to win the game. You think they could win even if A.J. Dillon doesn't play? I don't know about that, but I think he's going to play. Okay. Well, yeah, I think he's probable this week, or he's, he's at least questionable. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, game number, let's see, five for me. No, six for me. Five for me. Sorry. I got swapped. Kentucky plus seven at Missouri. Saturday, 3 p.m., SEC Network in Columbia, Missouri. Kentucky's won three straight against Missouri. My numbers have got Missouri minus three, so there's about a four-point difference there. Kentucky is number two in the country in scoring defense. They're number 31 uh, passing defense in the country. They've only given up six passing touchdowns. Missouri has not faced a defense like this. I understand they've played Georgia. I understand they played Alabama. I got that. But look, Kentucky's a different beast. They will keep this game on the ground. They're going to run the football. They're going to limit possessions. I think they got a chance to win the game. Give me the Wildcats, plus seven. Kentucky, plus seven at Missouri. <laughs> game number six. UAB minus 17 at UTEP, Saturday, 6.30 p.m. on ESPN+. Plus. Another one of them streaming games. You better believe that. Bill Clark and them boys traveling down to El Paso, Texas. My numbers have got UAB minus 22.6 here. The fact that it's only 17, I'm like, all right, this is cool. UAB 6-1 and one against the spread. UTEP is 4-3. and three. They've covered three straight. Vegas is going to put an end to that right now. UAB is number seven in the country in scoring defense, giving up only 15.1 points per game. UTEP is not going to be able to score on these Blazers. Give me Bill Clark. Let's roll with it. Minus 17. I know it's a big number. Don't be scared of it. I love Just that go man. do it. Love that man. I'm going with Arizona State plus six and a half at USC. I think Herm Edwards is going to have these guys ready to roll. I, I think Clay Helton is struggling to keep this team together. I don't know that USC is a very good team this year. Um, I don't know that the Coliseum is going to be rocking and people are going to come out to support it. I think, I think too, more people are ready to get rid of Clay yeah, Helton. Too many other things are going on in L.A. right now. Bron Bron's there. You got the the Dodgers in the in the World Series. I don't think people are excited about what's going on uh, with the Trojans right now. And I think the fighting Herms are going to be rolling. I, I really like that pick, I think they especially can win the game. especially with J.T. Daniels possibly being out like maybe yeah. they're saying he's gonna play but like it, that was questionable before uh but i do like that pick game number seven for me my last game hawaii at fresno state this is your late night game bet early and then if you need you a winner late night i got you right here i got the bulldogs jeff tedford that whole bunch saturday 9 30 p.m espn 2 in fresno california fresno state is 17 and 3 against the spread the last two seasons they are 11 and 0 against the spread against teams with a winning record that's crazy. Hawaii is 1-5-1 against the spread in their last seven games. 
They have fallen back to planet Earth since a big-time start. They have played nine straight weeks. This is their 10th straight. They haven't had a bye week yet. Fresno had their bye in week four, so they're, they're relatively rested. Uh, th- this is the best uh, passing defense that Hawaii has faced, and it's not even a question. The best one before that was BYU. They're number 39 in the country against the pass. They lost that game 49-23. to Fresno is number 10 in the country in total defense and number 13 in the country in passing defense. They finna snuff out the Rainbow Warriors. They are gonna smoke them. Look, I I told you before. I love Cole McDonald. Not this weekend though. Fresno, Jeff Tedford. Let's roll with it. Minus twenty two and a half. Again, it's a big number. Don't be scared of it. Just let it happen. My last pick, another home team in a weeknight game. This is Thursday night football. Va Tech minus three against Georgia Tech. Listen, Georgia Tech is not that good this year. They're really struggling. The 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 option offense is just not working for them. Um, they don't have it running the way they usually do. I trust Justin Fuente. He let me down a couple of times this year. That's going to happen. He's not going to let me down this time. Home team Thursday night in Blacksburg. Roll with it. Listen, I know I've been bad. I've been real bad. Like, bad doesn't <laughs> even begin to discuss me. Just hold a stunk over me. It's just things. Like everybody goes through it, though. But. You want to fade me? Fade my ass, okay? You don't like money? Go set it on fire. I'm coming back. Come back. I, I can get down with that. Let's do our recaps real quick. Clemson minus 14 at Florida State. North Carolina at Virginia. I got Virginia minus 9. Iowa plus 5.5 at Penn State. Kentucky plus 7 at Missouri. Texas A&M plus 2.5 at Mississippi State. UAB minus 17 at UTEP. And I got Fresno State minus 22.5 at home against Hawaii. I got Wake Forest plus two and a half. I got A&M plus two and a half. I got South Florida plus seven and a half. I got BC plus three and a half. You see a pattern here? <laughs> I got Arizona State. Arizona State plus six and a half. I got UK plus seven. And I got one favorite. Vitek minus three. I like it. That's going to wrap up the college football gambling picks for week nine. As always, we've given you what you need to be to be a winner. Right? Go down to Tunica. Put some action down on your favorite games, whichever ones you think you like. They got everything you need to know over at tunicatravel.com. As always, you can get our picks and everything else over at winningcureseverything.com.